We want to do a quick demonstration on how to use the tags in the component. So you'd first uh, enable accounts in the back end of the component. And then once you've enabled the account settings, next to that there is a place to set up your tags. And then you'd come to the front end of the website and underneath this little spinning wheel there is a, a pop-up with the setting called accounts and in the current area you could set up two menu items one for login and one for sign up uh, and uh, since i already have an account i'm going to click on login and then you just log in to your joomla website as normal if you already have an account and you have made previous bookmarks and tags and you're in a browser where those bookmarks have not been done then it will give you this pop-up if you go to the app page first time you open it um, and it will ask you what do you want to do now since I know that I already have an account and that that user has many bookmarks and tags I would say re replace the browser highlights um, which will then take as it says there, it will replace the browser highlights with the current account highlights. It will take the database uh, information and store it to the, to the browser's memory. So that even if he's online or offline, those highlights will show. Um, that's what we've been trying to achieve is to create an app that can function somewhat even when offline. Um, <clears throat> it's not fully completed yet still in progress but this is how far we've uh, been able to get if there's any of you that would like to take it further um, you can certainly communicate with me uh, replace browser highlights this would then as you see add all the highlights and tags uh, that uh, that this user already has made in the past now you'd see that there's a little tag next to some verses which means that they already have tags um, if you want to add a tag to a verse that doesn't have one you would click on any verse like this on the number of course and then you can just type in this box whatever tag you want so let's say life and enter and um, that is now a tag and you can add that to other uh, verses as well so here you can add a note and we can say uh, what does the verse say and of his fullness we have received grace for grace wonderful life okay wonderful life and submit now you can see there's the note and there's the tag if you want to see a, a bunch of verses that have been tagged together you'd open one like this and we have a tag called born again and you simply click on the tag and it will open a page with all those tags that you've made over this uh, and now on this page you have the option to print and to email this whole page to someone or to print it out if you go to the app page again Another way to get to tags is to click on this spinning wheel here and you now see a button here called tags and there's a whole list of tags. Um, inactive tags and inactive defaults. You see the system can also have default tags which you can use. Um, so if we were to click on any of these tags like God is omnipotence, um, it will bring up the verses that you've tagged with that tag and uh, it will show it and so if you click on email it will simply ask you for an email address so I would say info at getbible.net and send and it will give you a little notice here that its email was sent successfully and I can go and show you how that email will look like. 
So here is the email I received from uh, from Get Bible. So it emailed to my user account. Then it says the the tag name, the verses with the notes, and that the scriptures were taken from the King James. Of course, in whatever translation you're looking at, while on the app page in that translation the tags would be sent so if I was to go back to the app page and I was to change the translation to let's say Afrikaans old vertalen so now we are in Afrikaans which is my mother tongue and if I was to open a tag now born again you'd see that all the scripture here is now in Afrikaans and if I was to click on this email it and add our and send it will send it to me in this in this language you can also print it out so this will open up a printing dialogue and you can simply print this and we have made efforts to ensure that the styles are handled correctly with the printer Okay, so that's how you would add a tag to any verse, anywhere, and actually tag certain verses with the same tag. Just wanted to demonstrate that quickly. If we would take this number six here, and I were to start typing born, you'd see that other tags that already exist would start showing up, baptism and born, and you could just then click on the one you like. Um, we have a hide notes and hide option as well. If you're anywhere, open it, this dialog and you clicked on this hide of tags. Um, so if I was to click here, remove that, clear that, submit. Um, okay, now open here. And if I click hide, you'd see there in the background it hit it. And this will also hide all notes everywhere on all pages. So if you want to take that away, if you want to have it show again, then just come and so in any of these pop-ups you can control it in that way so i hope you can from this demonstration uh, get your hands around this nice feature unfortunately this feature is only available to to those who have an account on your website we are storing the data in the database and it's very hard for us to identify the person who makes the tags if we don't have an ID so sorry it's not it's not available like the bookmarks to the front end of the, of the component you must have an account to make use of the tags and that's why if you don't have the account setup feature enabled then tags as a whole do not does not function in get Bible thank you for watching